Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So some of my younger viewers have complained that I focus too much on PhD topics and let's start looking at some of the topics relevant to people who want to do bachelor's degrees. And essentially a lot of people have the problem of lower GPA because of draconian professors in their colleges and universities. And so what happens to these people? Let us look at these two issues in mind. So today I'm going to talk about the possibility of doing bachelor's degree as well as master's degrees in Germany and some of the advantages of doing that. Now you know that the cost of education is a huge problem facing people when they want to do any degree in some subjects such as engineering or science and they have to pay an enormous amount of tuition, they have to spend a lot of money to live in the university campus and so on. So one of the advantages is that Germany has a very cost efficient education system. So we are going to discuss that in detail today. And we are going to discuss some tactics which are specially suitable for students who have low GPA in their high school or in their bachelor's degree. Now, one of the things about Germany is that you get the advantage of high quality education in terms of lectures, labs and so on. And the German education system gives a lot of emphasis on practical work, on fabrication of various machines and different products in the labs and so on. So in Germany, you will find that if you are studying engineering or science, the theory and the experiments and the industry are very well integrated together. Many of the professors in Germany have spent a lot of time in the industry and this is going to be something which you can take advantage of if you are studying in the German institution. So I would say Germany is a great place to study engineering and science. Now essentially we can classify the German universities into two groups, the public universities and the private universities. Now all these universities are good and what happens is that the private universities charge you pretty high tuition fees but the public universities are free as far as tuition is concerned. So essentially if you are a budget conscious student then the public German university is the place to be and when I have been at various German universities which are all essentially public universities I find that there are a lot of students there from India, from Bangladesh, from Africa and so on but I would say that there are an increasing number of students even coming from US and different European countries who are studying in Germany. So let's look at some of the aspects. Now if we look at the higher end of the German technical education system, you have the so-called technical university or the Technische Universität which is also known as TU. So for example, you have TU Munich at the high end of the ranking scale, you have various other universities such as to Braunschweig and so on and essentially you can study in any of these technical universities. Now interestingly these technical universities are the precursor or the forefather of places such as the Institute of Technology. So essentially you have uh, universities such as MIT and Caltech which are Institute of Technologies and also you have the institutes such as the Indian Institute of Technologies and the National Institute of Technologies in India which are also things which have been born out of the TU concept and now this has percolated into the engineering college concept also. So essentially if you need to get into the TU you need to have a relatively high CGPA. So if we look at a scale of 4 then 3 or more CGPA is generally desired, 3.5 is better and 3.2 to 3.3 is the mean GPA which is expected of people. Now essentially in the TU system there are many different universities so if you are somebody with a lower GPA do not try to go for the top ranked university go for the slightly lower ranked university and your admission chances will go up. Do remember that the ranking is actually created by the level of the PhD programs and the research programs. So typically when universities are ranked, people look at the productivity of the professors in terms of their published papers and so on, the Nobel Prize winners at the university and various such factors. But these often do not percolate down to the bachelor's degree level. In fact, you may find that at a more normally ranked university, 
the professors are more dedicated to teaching and therefore they will be more suitable for you if you are a bachelor's degree and master's degree student later if you want to do a phd you can always go to a higher ranked university that's something you can try for later now of course the tus are better suited for higher gpa student except the lower ranked tus like i mentioned before but the universities you can really aim for are the university of applied sciences and essentially here the gpa of 2.5 7 to 3.2 is like the mean number so essentially these are much more favorable to students who have lower gpa and they are easier to get in compared to the technical universities and these universities also have a great reputation and in addition they have a lot of expertise in practical training so essentially we hear a lot about the german middle and small industry system and a lot of this has to do with the very strong program in the applied sciences so i would certainly recommend you apply to these different university of applied sciences now how do you get the list of universities essentially if you go to dad website that is t a a d dot d e you are going to find a complete list of german universities here and you can do a lot of research and figure out the different universities now let me give you some low gpa tactics now tactic number 1 is focus on small towns because typically what happens is that smaller towns less well known towns typically have good universities and they have good universities of applied sciences and the cost of living there is also much less so if you are staying in any of the expensive cities such as stuttgart or munich or hamburg it's going to be very expensive for you to stay there but if you stay in some smaller town such as braunschweig or ulm or darmstadt then it's going to be much lesser especially if you try to focus on east germany or what used to be east germany those places typically have lower cost they have a lot of small towns and also in general you will find that the universities there will be less competitive in terms of getting in so i would also suggest try to look at the eastern portion of germany so in usa they used to have the saying go west young man but as far as germany is concerned i would say the saying goes that go east young man or woman as the case may be so these are some of the tactics now let's continue with further tactics try to get some certificates in your program so essentially wherever you are studying whether you are studying a bachelor's degree or in high school try to go beyond your curriculum try to get some other expertise try to do some internships during your summer whether these are at industry or at other universities these are always helpful you may need to get some letters of recommendation so make sure that you get good letters of recommendation from your professors or your teachers and also if you have worked in some place as an intern then you can also get letters of recommendation from them now one very important thing is the motivation letter and you need to write a good motivation letter you need to point out clearly why you are very interested in studying at that particular university and what are your long term aspirations and in many cases people are not very bothered about the prior gpa of people if they do not have too many applicants remember that many a time the gpa is simply used as a tool to cut down on the application pool so if a university has received tens of thousands of applications and it can take only a few thousand student then they resort to gpa to remove the student doesn't mean those students are bad students and so on now i would also say try to get as much language proficiency in the english language as possible and certainly try to get language proficiency in german so many schools nowadays have german as a language which is taught so if you are somebody who is in high school or even in secondary school try to take german classes it's going to give you a head start in this particular process because some of these universities such as universities of applied sciences and universities in smaller towns and so on will require that you know some level of german language so i can say that german is going to be your trump card in the application process and make sure you know good enough german take german in high school take german courses in college and so on so do remember that german universities are very well priced like i mentioned before and you can often live in dorms which are relatively cheap 
and you can eat the food which is given out in the various hostels and the canteens around the university which are again all very cheap so if you are able to live in a small town in germany and study in one of the tus or in one of the universities of applied sciences you will actually find that your cost of stay may be much lesser than if you were studying in your own country because in many of the countries especially those who have been influenced by the anglo-saxon approach to education the cost of tuition has been skyrocketing and education is becoming more of a business but fortunately in germany that is not completely so and so if you get into the german public system or the public university system you will find a pretty cost efficient way of getting excellent bachelor's degrees master's degrees in engineering and science and even in all the other fields so that was my video for today and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then